Welcome to YouTubers Love Excel number 102. Hey, if you want to download this workbook and follow along, click on my YouTube channel, then click on my college website link and you can download the workbook. YouTubers Love Excel 101 to 111. Hey, this YouTuber said, I need to count. I want to count the number of days in this list of dates from this date to this date. Now, I have just a little short list, but uh, he had a huge list. Uh, first, we need to know um, that dates, when you type in 8-1-2008, notice you click in the cell, it looks like that's up there. But I want to do a um, little trick here. I'm going to highlight that cell and control 1 for format cells and then general. No way, look, see it says 39,661. That's the number of days since December 31st, 1899. That's called a serial number. Any of the date tricks in Excel, you must know it's a serial number. And to emphasize this, I'm going to click in this cell say equals this right here, one cell to my left, control and enter to keep the cell highlighted. Now there's a keyboard shortcut to apply general format. Control, shift, and tilde. The tilde key is directly below the escape key. Control, shift, tilde. The reason why that's a keyboard shortcut to get to general uh, and why it's so good is because if you deal with uh, dates and times a lot, sometimes you want to get rid of the formatting. I'm going to double click that little uh, fill handle right there with my crosshair or angry rabbit. <coughs> double click and send it out. You can see there's a bunch. This is just looking over there, but without formatting. So you can see there's a bunch of numbers there. Now, um, so we want to count the number of days. We're going to do an array formula here uh, using the sum function. But if we were in this, uh, formula we're going to do, we're going to have to say greater than or equal to this and less than or equal to this. But remember, it's actually always going to be looking at the, we're going to do this column, but it'll always be looking at the numbers, the serial numbers underneath. If you guys have watched a lot of the videos here, you know that formulas never look at formatting. It does not look at this format. It looks at the unformatted number underneath. All right, let's do it. The keyboard shortcut for auto sum is alt equals. That's just a regular old sum function. I'm going to type open parentheses. I'm going to highlight uh, this one cell right here, and then control shift down arrow to jump all the way to the bottom. And I'm going to hit my F4 key. That just jumps the screen back up to the top, especially when you've got a huge range of values. We don't need them here because this formula is only in one cell. I'm going to say, greater than or equal to what? This right here. Close parentheses. Now, this is in uh, an array. This here is actually a, a bunch of trues and falses. If you were to highlight that little thing here and hit the F9 key, which is the evaluate key, see how it just gives you a bunch of trues and uh, falses? Whoa, look, they're all true. So, uh, but, and we'll see that those trues multiplied by a bunch of trues and falses will only give us a true. Control Z quickly. I just, whoops. Control Y. Oh, I totally messed up. Control Z. Control Z. No, yeah, I did. Uh, I put the, the cursor, the um, open parentheses here. Now I'm going to click in this cell and then hold Control and Shift and down arrow. That's a quick way to get to the bottom of a range. And then I'm going to hit the F4 key. Now the F4 key puts the dollar signs, but when you've got a huge column of numbers, it also jumps the screen back up here. We don't need those dollar signs, but they won't hurt here. And I'm going to say that range equals, uh, sorry, greater than or equal. Because the, we want to examine that range of dates and say, are they greater than or equal to that? Close parentheses. Now, this is an array formula. So this is just going to deliver a, uh, a series of trues and falses. It'll evaluate all of them. And you could look at that if you highlighted this very carefully and hit the F9 key. You see, these are all true because all the dates are greater than that. And when we multiply this range of trues and falses times the next array part, it'll get true and false times true and false, and only the true times true will come out. Control Z if you do that F9 trick, because we need to multiply everything in the green parentheses. So we multiply it, open parentheses again. Same range, I'm going to click there, Control Shift Down Arrow, F4, less than or equal to this uh, value right there. 
and close parentheses. Now, if you were to highlight this whole little range right here and hit F9 to evaluate, you can see true, true, O, oh, and they're all false. So when you multiply trues and falses times trues and falses, it's only the true times true that'll give one. Remember, we're counting here. We want to count the number of dates. So it'll end up that there's only a one and a one, and then the sum part of this will add those. I'm going to control Z. I make sure I have my parentheses on the end. And because this is an array formula, you can't hit Enter. What happens if you hit Enter? One, that's not it. I'm going to click here on F2. You can't hit Enter or even Control Enter. I'm going to hit F2 again. It's Control and Shift and then Enter. That is how you tell Excel that this is an array formula. Control, Shift, and Enter. And there are three dates, one, two, and if you want to verify this, there's one all the way at the bottom. So that's how to count uh, using this array formula here. Count from a list of dates how many are between two dates. All right, we'll see you next trick.